Bonnie, happy Wednesday. Holy moly, Kringle Candle Halloween pre-order. I am so excited. Thank you to everyone who let me know that Kringle's doing their Halloween pre-order. I'm so excited about fall this year. I'm going to do a whole, like, whole house Halloween decoration. I don't care. I'm in the house. Might as well decorate for Halloween. So Kringle Candle currently has 10 candles that are Halloween on their site available for pre-order. They're on sale right now for $22.95. And um, I did add three to my collection. I just put my order in. I can't remember when we get these. If it's like September, um, late August, early September, I want to say it was in that range. So I'm going to go over the candles they have available and show you the ones I currently own. And it was so difficult. So I own three and I ordered three. I thought about getting all of them, but I'm like, I'm going to be good. So now I'll have six in my collection. The first one I want to talk about is the Poison Apple. I got this one last year. Oh my gosh. Now to me, these are more than just a candle. This is like a Halloween decoration that you bring out every year. This is like an event. <laughs> Look at how tall these candles are. They're huge. They're heavy. They are, how many ounces are these? 22 ounces. And they have a, oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. They have a gray wax, but it when you burn it, it's black. So um, it looks gray in the jar, but like I said, when you burn it, it's black. They are a soy blend, and the notes on this one, um, where are the notes on the apple one? It's funny, some of them don't have the notes, which I find kind of strange. This one says, one whiff of this enticing scent will transport you to a dreamlike state. Um, holy moly, this one is amazing. It's it's definitely like a spicy apple, and I had to get this one because it just, you know, I, apples to me are so Halloween. So the other one that I currently own, and you know what? Um, okay, this is, I didn't, it's funny, I didn't even burn this one last year. I never got around to reviewing it, and I kind of wanted to keep it as a collectible haunted house. But let me get to um, Witch's Cauldron next. Oh my gosh. So Witch's, Witch's Cauldron is back. This is kind of a classic Kringle. Um, Witch's Cauldron is primary notes of clove and cedar dance mysteriously with hints of incense, citrus, and other exotics to create an utterly bewitching fragrance. Um, this one smells so good. It is like clove black smoke. I mean, it definitely has like a super interesting Halloween essence to it. It's not patchouli. It's more of like, it smells kind of like black smokish, like when you're burning in the fire. Um, but it's not like marshmallow fireside. It's more like of a Halloween <laughs> clovey scent. But anyway, I love this one. Awesome pattern on there. And then, like I said, this one, this is called Haunted House. And I bought this because of the label. I thought it was super um, spooky and fun. And I'm going to I'm going to review this one this year. <laughs> I so many candles last year. This one is warm clove, fresh pine and touches of spice and floral. It almost smells like a Christmas candle. I definitely get that pine in there, but this one smells so good. Um, let me just look on my screen here. I'm going to put some screen shots below. So this year I, I had a really hard time deciding which ones to get. So I did get candy corn. I will put candy corn in the screenshot below. It says, who can ever pass by the dish of tricolored Halloween candy? This one is creamy vanilla, honey, and light spice. I'm curious to see what this one is like, because like I said, I think that the, the wax is that gray black, which is kind of like weird for candy corn. So I'll give you my impression when I get this one. So I'm not sure. Um, I, I think I'd rather have like um, a white or orange candy corn. I'm going to get a candy corn candle somewhere. <laughs> Someone's got to be selling one. Um, I almost got Day of the Dead because I really like the sugar skull on the front. I will put a screenshot. It's a magical elixir of sparkling citrus that mingles with spiced florals and rich oriental. That one intrigued me. I was so close to getting that one. Um, the one that I did get is called Graveyard Shift. Oh, uh, no, Graveyard Night. I'm sorry, not Graveyard Shift. Where did I get that? Graveyard Night. And it is um, 
savory and sizzling aromas of pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. I'm wondering if that's close to this uh, cinnamon, um, sweet cinnamon pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. So I did get that one. And then I also got Wolfsbane, because you know me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And I'm like, that one sounds so intriguing. Um, this one is a delightful floral fragrance that will have you happily howling at the moon and it will repel vampires. I have no idea. I kind of debated because it was floral, but I really liked the jar. I'm like, that's really cute. Um, they also have one called um, It's Alive, kind of like this creepy zombie hand. That one is um, fresh fur, fresh uh, balsam and zest of lime and life. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds really good. <laughs> I may decide to get a few more of these. I don't know. I like really went back and forth. They also have Fright Night, which is, I'll put a screenshot up. It's citrus, um, rare wood accords to create a fragrance that will drive you batty with pleasure. I'm curious about Fright Night. And then of course they have Black Cat, and that one is a complex blend of wood, citrus, musk. Um, I don't know. They all look amazing. I'm so excited that um, Kring, I was wondering if they were going to do their Halloween candles this year with everything going crazy with um, like the supply chains. But I'm so glad um, that they are because I'm so excited. I'll have six of these now. These are going to be in a prominent space in my Halloween setup. This apple is amazing. So these are two wick, by the way, on top. And the burn was really good last year. I'll tack one of my reviews at the end of this video so you can see what they are. But like I said, they're pre-order for $22.95, which isn't bad. Um, I'm super excited about these. So anyway, that is my Kringle Candle preview uh, opinion, what I'm getting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I might be back later. I don't know. I might have one more review for Bath & Body Works. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.